Suicide rates in the military have been slowly increasing between 2011 and 2022. That's according to the Department of Defense's 2022 report on suicide in the military. A few of those suicides were connected to the locally based aircraft carrier USS George Washington. Our Madalena Belores went on deck to see how leaders are tackling mental health on the ship. A lot of the recent stories about this ship that we've covered have been related to tragedy, but I spoke with the captain. He says now that they're out of the shipyard and they're on the water, a lot has changed. It was April of 2022 when tragedy struck the crew of USS George Washington three times. In the last two years, nine people have died on that ship and top Navy brass believes six of those were suicides. For the ship, it's, it's been very challenging for us. Captain Brent Gott is the commanding officer of USS George Washington. We spoke with him on the ship's bridge when we were recently on board. He says time in the shipyard was tough. It's the same thing day in and day out, and sometimes it's hard to see that, that light at the end of the tunnel. But being out at sea has changed everything. And once we got out there, and those first couple of days uh, were extraordinary in May because sailors for the first time got to see what it's like to be at sea, to come up on the flight that can feel the, the wind in your hair. While things have improved, that hasn't stopped his focus on mental health and wellness. Even though we've destigmatized uh, mental health challenges, I think we still have a long way to go. And so we're constantly talking about that. It's okay to come forward. It's okay. In fact, it's a sign of strength to ask for help, not a sign of weakness, right? It's okay to be vulnerable, say, hey, I'm just struggling right now. And it's not just talk. The ship is making changes, including Wi-Fi on the mess deck, to help improve quality of life. If we can allow them to connect with their loved ones back home, even for a couple minutes, that's the cherry on top. They're good for the rest of the day. Let's go get it. Let's go get after it. Let's go do our jobs. As another way to help sailors, the ship recently held a mental health resource fair Pierside. Representatives from nonprofits like the Fallen Outdoors were there to help. We take veterans, active duty retirees, uh, any veteran, Outdoors. Justin Cloppy is a volunteer with the Fallen Outdoors. It is extremely important to give sailors an outlet. His full time job is serving in the Marine Corps. He's been in for more than 20 years, so he has seen how the conversation around mental health has evolved, and he knows firsthand how important it is. I had a Marine uh, commit suicide in, in Japan. It was a tough loss for the unit. Uh, we all knew him, we all liked him a lot, and nobody knew he had a problem, no one knew he was struggling. And that's part of why he's committed to helping other service members. To give the sailors on board here another outlet to reach out, get together, get off the ship, get outdoors. But it's not just those on the ship who are dedicated to improving sailors' mental health. So when I hear a sailor has died by suicide, it is heartbreaking news. Admiral Daryl Cottle, commander of U.S. Fleet Forces, recently spoke about the Navy's commitment to changing the stigma. We're working really hard to lower that threshold, to lower that barrier. He knows change will take time, but he wants sailors to know that leadership cares and is working to make change. You know, we like to say mental health is health, and that's got to become more than a talking point, and that takes time. I recognize that. We're on that journey. It's that journey that God continues to lead his sailors through. Sometimes, you know, hope is more important than happiness. And for the first time in a long time, they have that hope. Hope that's carrying them through as their time at sea gets underway. I'm Maria Elena Valores, 10 on your side.